Hey guys, I'm Wacky Universe, your guest host today on Taltanic, and now I hope you enjoy the video. 21 Things Space Lovers Should Know About Mars Even though there's a lot to learn about space and the universe in general, let's start with one of the closest planets to Earth, Mars. Lots of mystery has surrounded the red planet. Let's take a look at some of the things you might not have known. 21. Who Discovered Mars? It can be impossible to say who discovered Mars, but the first person officially recorded to have discovered Mars is none other than Galileo Galilei, who observed the red planet and took note of it in 1609. Back then, he of course didn't have the technology we do today, but he did use a rather primitive version of the telescope when he found Mars. Another person credited with the discovery of Mars would be Christian Huygens of the Netherlands. In 1659, he would be the first to use an advanced telescope and draw a map of Mars's terrain. 20. Olympus Mons The largest mountain in our entire solar system cannot be found on Earth, but on our next door neighbor, Mars. Actually, it's technically a large shield volcano, but it still counts as a mountain the way that Mauna Loa in Hawaii counts as the tallest mountain on Earth. Olympus Mons measures at about 14 miles or 25 kilometers from top to bottom, more than twice the size of Mauna Loa and two and a half times as tall as Mount Everest's height above sea level. 19. Your weight on Mars Technically, you wouldn't really be any skinnier, but technically, you'd be losing weight on Mars. Whether it be an object or a person, anything on Mars weighs just 37.83% of what it would weigh on Earth. So, yeah, you'd feel lighter on Mars. Since Mars, in comparison to Earth, is much smaller, that means your weight decreases due to the force of gravity. So if we all really wanted to feel better about ourselves, we could just imagine what we would weigh on Mars. 18. A Year on Mars Ever wonder how long a year on Mars would take when you compare it to a year on Earth? Mars floats four planets away from the Sun. Because it sits further from the Sun than Earth does, its complete orbit around it would understandably take longer. On Earth, it takes about 365 days to complete a year or the planet's orbit around the Sun. For Mars, it would take about 687 Earth days to make a year, whereas a planet closer to the Sun like Venus only takes about 225 Earth days. 17. Mars and Aries The name Mars comes from the Roman version of the Greek god Ares, the god of war. It makes sense that a red-colored planet would be associated with the passion of battle. In China, astronomers referred to Mars as the Fire Star, whereas priests in Egypt called the planet the Red One. Despite looking like it's on fire, the red actually comes from the rock on the surface of the planet consisting of a lot of iron. 16. The City of Cairo When naming the capital city of Egypt, it seemed appropriate to name it after Mars, with the full meaning translating from Arabic to Camp of Mars. See, the day Cairo was founded, the red planet happened to be rising the same day, hence the namesake. It also implied the idea that the city was something of a strong or victorious conqueror. It has become the largest metropolitan area in all of Africa as well as the Middle East. 15. Pieces of Mars Scientists were able to study Mars before they started space missions to the neighboring planet. But how? They were able to do so since pieces of Mars have ended up on Earth. Meteorites that landed on Earth contained small traces of Mars' atmosphere within them. Those same meteorites from Mars then floated around the solar system for who knows how long, only to enter the Earth's atmosphere afterward. 14. The Martian Ice Age in this image, you're looking at the northern ice cap located on Mars. And while we know that Mars gets cold and ice exists, it seems that the whole planet has been emerging from an ice age that took place around 400,000 years ago. When compared to the ice ages that Earth experienced, Mars had it way more extreme. And though it had been a really long time, it seems the planet still needs to recover from it. 13. The Oceans on Mars a long time ago, we're talking like billions of years ago, the surface of Mars had oceans the way Earth does. Mars isn't the same size as Earth, so it wouldn't have as much water, about 1.5% of the amount Earth has today. However, it would have had more ocean water than the Arctic Ocean. 
around 4.3 billion years ago, Mars had enough water to cover the whole surface and be about 450 feet or 137 meters deep. 12. Dust storms Some planets in the solar system are made up of mostly gas, while the rest consists of more solid rock like Earth. And of all the dust storms in the solar system, Mars has the largest. A dust storm on Mars can last for months. The seasons there prove more harsh than here since the shape of the planet's orbital path resembles that of an oval more than a circle like other planets, creating harsher weather. 11. Missions to Mars Of the 40-something missions to Mars, only about half of them were successful. Whether due to launch failure, landing failure, or some other factors, it seems getting to Mars for just spacecraft in general has proved rather difficult. This includes rovers, landers, and orbiters. The most recent missions carried out include the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, which launched in 2016 and successfully entered orbit a few months later and continues to stay operational. 10. A Ring Around Mars First, they tell us that Pluto isn't a planet. Then they tell us Mars will get a makeover in a few million years. Like the planets Uranus and Saturn, it seems one day that Mars, too, will have a ring around its celestial body. That site will be about 20 to 40 million years into the future. But still, Phobos, the largest moon orbiting Mars, appears to be in a decaying orbit and will eventually be torn apart by then due to gravitational forces. After creating a ring, science says it will probably stay there for about mm, 100 million years. 9. Why is Mars freezing? It may be the red planet and associated with rage and war. But really, Mars gets super cold. Though it's relatively close to the sun compared to other things in space, that difference between Earth and Mars from the sun does a lot to an environment that has little to no atmosphere. That's why it gets so cold there. Temperatures reach around negative 67 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 55 degrees Celsius on average. Though at a high, it can reach up to 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. 8. The Size of Valles Marineris In addition to having the tallest mountain ever in the solar system, Mars is also home to the largest canyon in the solar system, Valles Marineris. Compared to the Grand Canyon, Valles Marineris measures to be about 23,000 feet or 7 kilometers deep, about five times deeper than its Earth counterpart, and about four times longer at 2,500 miles or 4,000 kilometers. The name came from the Latin translation of Mariner Valleys, Mariner deriving from the orbiter Mariner 9 that discovered it. 7. A Powerful Tsunami We talked earlier of the amount of waters Mars once had, and even though it doesn't measure up to the amount on Earth, the tsunamis that once occurred on the second smallest planet in our solar system were said to have been rather powerful. Ancient Martian tsunamis had the capability of reaching heights of about 400 feet. Evidence shows that Mars experienced a giant tsunami about 3 billion years ago, after an asteroid hit the ocean, causing huge waves to take over the planet. 6. Mars Quakes And since Mars can experience things like tsunamis, it can also experience things like quakes, or Mars quakes. Despite possessing no tectonic plates, Mars can still experience things like the earthquakes us Earthlings know so much about. One way Mars quakes can happen can be due to crackling on the surface of the planet when it cools down, causing contraction. A hit by a meteorite can also cause a similar result, or even rising plumes of magma can cause a disruption on the planet too. 5. Life on Mars For those of you who didn't know, the chemical compound known as methane derives from living things. On our planet, it's stuff like plants and fossil fuels. So it stirred great interest in the science world when in 2014, the Curiosity rover discovered trace evidence of methane on Mars. While this doesn't necessarily prove to be a sign of life, NASA scientists said it strongly indicates something like ancient life from the methane that's been trapped on the planet. If it's not a natural source of gas, then that means something non-biological is going on that would cause methane to be produced on Mars. Though all of that is still up for debate. 4. Water on Mars From what we've seen thus far in this list, water has existed on Mars before. 
But what humans didn't know for the longest time was if water still can be found there. From the ice to the erosion in the rocks, there's no denying that water was once plentiful. The only place where water is visible from the surface is in the northern ice cap in its North Pole. In 2015, NASA confirmed the discovery of evidence that liquid water flows on Mars to this day. By using a spectrometer, these researchers found signatures of hydrated minerals, streaks that appear to ebb and flow. It still doesn't confirm the presence of water per se, but it's pretty close. 3. Earth versus Mars In pop culture, aliens like Martians seem like a creepy, unsettling form of life. Yet when you look at the size of Mars, we do at least have size of planet on our side. Mars only measures to be one half of the diameter of our planets. Though Mars clearly looks smaller, when it comes to dry land and surface area, the two planets measure to about equal. This mostly is because so much of Earth's surface, about two-thirds of it, is covered in water. So when you take that out of the equation, Mars and Earth aren't so different in stature. And the more we've learned about Mars, the more familiar it sounds. 2. Mars Approaching Between the Earth and Mars, the minimum distance measured to 225 million kilometers. But since the two are constantly moving, they can be as far as 401 million kilometers. To even get to Mars from Earth, it would take about 300 days. On average, every two years, Mars gets about 55 million kilometers away from Earth. But the closest Earth has gotten in the past 60,000 years was back in 2003. The red planet was only 34.8 million miles away and will not be that close to our planet again until 2287. 1. Colonizing Mars Look guys, Earth's getting really overpopulated. So we need options for other places that humans have yet to take over. And guess where that first option would be? Off this planet and right across a few kilometers to Mars. Plans to colonize Mars are more probable than going to any other planet. 1. It's close by. 2. It has the closest conditions to Earth than any other planet in our solar system, making it the second most hospitable planet. Public and private organizations have made efforts into researching how colonization could take place. NASA is actually planning to make a colony on Mars by the 2030s. It would be an Earth-independent colony, meaning that the people that go to Mars will go there to stay. What about you? Will you ever move to Mars? What did you guys think of that video? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Wacky Universe, by clicking right over here. <laughs>